Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, the Skyrender. And today we go up against a guy named Daniel, unknown as Potato Dan, actually. And this guy won a higher tier battle. Um, I think we decided for a UU battle, if I remember correctly. And you know who I am. I tend to whine a lot before going in, you know, how bad I am and whatnot. But, you know, I, I still have a safe core I can use that I feel comfortable with. So, until that day somebody countered that core, I'm doing kind of fine, not gonna lie there. And also I want to thank everybody who liked my um, live commentated battle that I posted. I will, you know, try to work that up. I have, I still figured out the details on how to work with my program. And obviously a raw stream material is, um, is kind of weird to look at, but at the same time, uh, I kind of like doing that. And uh, I will try to do like a culmination media dust and... Uh, just do a specific Wi-Fi battle with that, and even for Laura, I will do like the same, the same idea, literally. Anyway, look at my opponent's team here. We got Girder, Beedrill, Arcanine, um, what's it called? Among Us and uh, Electric or Electros and Dawn Fan. I myself using um, Bugra, Mantine, um, Rakigon, Regirock. I just changed Regirock instead of the Gilis. Um, Fulf or um, Stogland and my uh, Slapuff, which is a special set. And um, yeah, I don't really use a lot of UU Pokemon. I think the only one is actually the Powdon. But uh, besides that, I know I can kind of whittle this guy out, or at least so I hope, I should say. Because no Pokemon in his team besides the Dolphin possess potential threats against my Stogland and Rongland. So, with all this in mind, guys, let's go. So we have a kind of funny beginning to be honest, he actually decided to release with his Dolphin Valley with my Powdown. I, we both decided to pretty much exchange rocks, but I did decide to go for uh, Ice Fang, and uh, I get this guy frozen. Which is um, kind of funny, kind of funny, but due to us not really being able to do any significant damage to one another, plus um, basically Earthquake does exactly the same if not less than uh, Ice Fang does. So he's gonna decide to stay in just to try to uh, really, you know, fought out because he's faster after all. And since I can't really do any significant damage to him, there's no reason for him to switch out. So I totally get that. I myself am just doing everything I can to wheel this Pokemon down because of the given circumstance. And since I don't have any Pokemon with fire potential fire moves, uh, there's really no reason for him to try to work around this at all. He does fought out eventually and go for the Earthquake, which does, you know, roughly the same damage as it did to me, or as I did to him. So the Dolphin is out, so that is great, uh, so Overuse Junior is gonna come in, and at this point I didn't really know what I was gonna go for, I was thinking it could go for a knockoff and I don't wanna lose my Smooth Rock at least, so I have my Unburdened Slurpuff, which I know can, you know, it's gonna activate once he knocks that off, but he actually decides to go for Bulk Up, and uh, not gonna lie, that's dangerous, that is really, really dangerous, and uh, basically I decided that since I both cutting our Calm Mind, I could take this opportunity to hope that he goes for another uh, bulk up while I, well, wall myself up really. And I think this stressed him out a lot. He's go for knockoff eventually here, and uh, well, no citrus berry for me. But at the same time, he can't do any damage to me, so I knew that, and I'm basically gonna start call mines. Uh, he's gonna go to his Arcanine, and uh, this, this is where I have to speed up things too, because he can by default wall me out and that is something I am not comfortable with so he's gonna go for the will-o-wisp hitting that and um, definitely now I knew I needed to attack him and I do some fair damage but it is not enough and it's actually a subset and he can stall me out with morning sun and subs and whatnot and since the sandstorm isn't up he's gonna recover more than I'm able to do damage on him but there is no reason for me to switch out um, since my bird is already activated I'm already like walled up so I am better off just doing the damage, but he is in a good position after that. So anyway, I'm gonna go to Solgo. I know Solgo will wheel the thread of him out, and I'm just gonna go for Skull, hoping to burn whatever it actually switches in. So Mongus comes in, and um, well, like I said, I went for Skull, and um, that is uh, not gonna do much here. But you pack the Air Slash, and Solgo is not really the most important Pokemon in this battle due to his construction. So just gonna go for Air Slash, hoping that he goes for a Spore. 
so he's so he can't go for more swords throughout his battles because I'll just switch out um, Mantine. That is, uh, I thought it was my safest, but it's kind of mean spirited, definitely. But at the same time, I knew I had to do something like this to um, to get some momentum in this battle. So anyway, I'm gonna go to Bugra. I was really hoping that he was gonna switch out, you know, trying to get a better footing. But he will go for the Giga Raid, so this is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt bad. Um, while my Bugra is designed to take a special hits, it's still that, that is too close, too close. And uh, I really just need to sand, um, there is no way I could do anything differently here. And I should definitely have switched out to my Dragon straight off the bat and not done this play. Uh, so I'm going to switch out to Dragon and do the correct play, obviously. Uh, because he doesn't have any fair type, so there's no reason for me to not go for um, for the outrage. Really, I have fire and fang on this thing, but he also have Pokemon that has flash fire, so it's kind of risky for me to do that in case he's not gonna have a flash fire. I think he had that. It's either that or intimidate. You know what? Don't mind me. He's probably intimidate, but I thought that outrage will do the most damage, and Dragon is not the most. Like potent in this battle, so Outrage is gonna come out, and it is too powerful, but it doesn't take him out. But in combination with the sand, it actually will help out, and that is really, really great. Among Us is super annoying regen regenerator Pokemon, and getting that out of the way is truly important. And the funny part is, I have yet to actually bring Fulf in. Uh, in the, the whole Sandstorm idea is because I need to utilize that Pokemon, the stuff to, to get momentum. But as long as I have the overused Junior, I can't bring it in. Uh, luckily for me here, uh, he just switched that one in, and I am able to outspeed. But it is too defensive for my, to my beautiful uh, Bulk to take it out, sadly. And it's gonna go for a Bulk Up. And um, in combination with Mac Punish, it will sadly be enough. And uh, of course, Toxic and whatnot, Bulk is basically, or Dragon is basically just, um, he is, um, well, a sad bean of hazards right now, and can't cope with his situation, so there's a Mac Punch. Really bad, really bad that it takes me out, but at the same time, you know, what can I do? Um, I knew I couldn't bring anything that was slower in this Pokemon, because I knew that he will only go for Drain Punch if I did so. So, basically, I was hoping that Solgo could, you know, wall itself out a little bit, and maybe go for a Skull to wake up. Sally, this does not happen, and it does go for Drain Punch, and uh, yeah, it's not really what I wanted. I definitely wanted him to um, take him out first turn. Um, so no jokes on me, because Salgo is gonna come in. Luckily though, I don't really care too much about um, um, sorry about the Spore anymore, because of, well, Among Us being dead or not, and whatnot. And right, so... At this point, I knew that I only have one more turn of sand, and I need this guy out, and sorry, but Fulf, you're in. And I knew it was gonna go for Mac Punch, there's no way we would work around that, and um, it does a lot of damage, you know, I, I won't deny that fact. But at least this Pokemon is out, which is exactly what I wanted, because now Fulf can come in pretty much effortlessly and sweep. But like I said, that was the last turn of sand. <laughs> So, you know, a little bit too late, a bit too late, and Shino is gonna come in here, and, um, yeah, basically, I was hoping for him to go for U-turn or anything like that, I'm just going to sack Bugra, uh, I really need all the power I can get now, and, um, yeah, Bugra is definitely it, there is no way I can work around this, I got Bugra left, Regirock, and the Southland, and Regirock, the worst part is, Regirock is actually a defensive, built Regirock, so it's not really doable here, depending on the last set. So anyway, he's gonna go for Protect here, just to get this out of going, and uh, then after this he will finish up the Booger up. Like I said, there is no real reason for me to actually do anything here. This is the last sand that's gonna come up, and I'm gonna rely all my power on Fulf. It's all I got right now. Fulf, please do your thing. And um, yeah, as you see, only a surviving barely the um, stealth rock damage. And my opponent is really taking a shot in the dark here, hoping that he will be able to switch or to outspeed um, Ghost of First Protect and um, basically stalling out turns. But 
I am actually faster in the sand. Hell, I am faster in a swampert in a rain dance. That is how fast Southland is full invested, 400 or 540 base speed. So it's gonna bring the Arcanine here, the Golden Gary, and um, yeah, it is intimidating. Uh, I'm sorry about the previous commentary, guys. But it will affect me because my return will not take him out. It is damn close though. He goes through Morning Sun thinking that he can stall me out, but due to, of course, the horror that is the sand, he will only recover 50% here. And uh, had he gone for attacking move, it still would have killed him because he would have taken me out, but the sand would have taken him out. So I do get a little sheep shot going here, and that takes out the Arcanine. But still, like I said, we still have the issue of um, me not being able to switch out and his last Pokemon is the Electros and while my return does hurt it doesn't hurt enough due to I mean, Simulate and he has Drain Punch that's really bad that is really really bad and like I said my Regirock is defensive and uh, it will do super effective damage on me so I'm not sure I can win uh, he's gonna be buffed by the Sandstorm and he's gonna help out but Regirog is not faster than the Electros. It, it's just not possible. And um, I'm just gonna do gonna do the best I can, and that is the Rock Slide. The Drain Punch will do. I don't say do a lot of damage, but in contrast, what he recovers, it's definitely it's threatening. Depending on if I hit or miss my Rock Slides, so I just do score the first one. And from the range of this, it looks like it could be a two-hit KO, depending on how much he recovers from his Drain Punch. So yeah, it's not over until it's not over just yet. So it's gonna go for Drain Punch, and um, that did feels like it did a lot more. And it looks like my Rock Slide won't take it out this time, but I missed the Rock Slide, and that was truly, truly a moment of true sadness. But we are in a speed tie, and I actually have speed next turn, and do hit the Rock Slide. That will take him out and that people is GG that was incredible what a match thank you so much potato dad for this battle that was truly truly a testament of true power so yeah that actually worked out pretty well um, I'm not gonna lie and say that you know I had control of this battle because I definitely didn't uh, I had a lot of issues this battle and it took me quite a time or quite a while there to actually get my Stoutland really come in and do something, to be honest. While Stoutland really works as an offensive Pokemon, I'm a huge fan of this Pokemon because of that. Uh, it really helps out. It's still got major issues, and those issues are pretty troublesome, honestly, to deal with. Because we still have the Mag Punch issue, as I saw, that almost took me out just with one Mag Punch due to bulk up. And uh, who knew, in the higher tiers, this is stuff much tougher. I think Potato Dan really played a good game here, and uh, I think it definitely voided off my threats, quite honestly. I mean, taking off my Slurpuff by Stall alone is um, a good response. It truly is, and uh, I was very powerless there. Luckily, I did came through eventually, and uh, it was, I did it, only did so because I started to play really aggressive because I knew that I was pushed to corner. I definitely were. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching this spell, of course, and uh, remember my stream tomorrow at 5 p.m. Um, I'm gonna post it on Twitter and on YouTube when that is going on. Uh, but 5 p.m. Sweden time, so plus one GMT. So, anyway, guys, if you like this bell, make sure to leave just that a like. And if you're new to this channel, what's up? And remember, the sky is the freaking limit, guys. Have a good day and take care, alright? Bye.